Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a keyboard from Kinetic Labs, the TG67V3. Now this one's a keyboard I've been wanting to take a look at it for a while, but I reached out to Kinetic Labs and they were kind enough to send me out a unit to go ahead and build up and review, although it's already built. Disclaimer, I already started filming this video but then realized I had done a kernel update and I had not rebooted. Uh, so the NVIDIA driver, because it's DKMS, um, just was screwy and it's unusable, the footage that I recorded. So I'm gonna kind of go over what I did already. Um, I did open it up and maybe I can use some of that footage, but it's a simple construction. So I might be able to use some of that footage. I don't know about the opening, it, but this is what we get. So in the case, we have standard USB-C to USB-A cable. We have an Allen wrench that works with the case. We have a tube of lubrication for the screw and stabilizers, they're Duroc V2s. And then we have a list of everything that's included, as well as um, the person that actually a hand assembled and inspected which i mean that's that's big to me that's huge because it shows that somebody you know actually worked on it instead of it you know just going through an automated process a machine you know somebody maybe looked at it no somebody hand assembled this board but like i said i already went through and loaded up it comes with i believe 10 switches it's to keep the plate and the pcb assembly together but they're loaded up with um, milky yellows from Gatoron. And I already actually had already picked out the milky yellows to use with this because I think it's a good base switch that everyone knows what it sounds like. Um, this is a solid little kit. I love the, uh, the edges on it. Uh, the design of it is very clean um, and modern. And we have the little gold weight of the TG down here and the little bubble feet, or bump bonds, whatever you like to call them. But uh, I can already tell that this is gonna sound good. So for keycaps today, I do have a plan to come back to this board and modify it because I've got some ideas and I have a keycap set that I really wanna use on here, but it's not in Cherry Profile. Um, some time ago, a few of my subscribers, I asked them, hey, you know, what do you guys think about my sound test? And I got some feedback, but one of the things that was almost unanimous across the board was that I should always do sound tests with Cherry keycaps, at least the first sound test, so that people can get, you know, a good idea. And Cherry being the most common profile, um, it's best, you know, to do that. So I have been doing my best to stick to that. Um, because I know I did some boards, you know, I'd use MT3 or SA or XDA, and of course that's gonna change the sound. But being as Cherry is the most common profile, I'm gonna be using Cherry today. But again, I've got another set of SA keycaps that I wanna really load up on these. I think it's gonna look really nice, but that'll be when we come back. There is foam below the PCB as well as between the plate and the PCB, but there is no IXPE and there is no PET. So when I come back to it, I think I'm gonna put a layer of PET below the P, the PCB and put IX, or I don't have IXP, but I'll be using PE foam and PET plastic above the PCB to see how much of a difference that makes. So for today, I'm going with a set of mint caps. Now, mint caps is one of the cheaper brands on Amazon and I believe they're on AliExpress as well, but <clears throat> sometimes they go on sales for, uh, well, on Amazon. I mean, a trick that I have for for waiting for something, if I see something I'm like, ah, that's probably gonna go cheaper. What I do, and I mean, just a suggestion, but I add it to my cart and then I hit save for later. But then every once in a while, I probably do it like once or twice a day, I'll go to my cart and there'll be a message up at the top, prices have changed. The first top half of it's gonna show prices of stuff in your saved cart, you know, not in your actual active cart that if you check out, it's gonna buy, but it'll have uh, two sections. 
The top section is things of prices that have gone up, but the bottom section will be a list of stuff that's in your cart, the prices that have gone down. And there's been a lot of times where there's, I don't know why. I mean, sometimes they just change the price for a day or for a few hours, but I'll catch it just right. And I'll have a keycap set that I want to get. And this one, I think it's normally, I want to say either 25 or $27, but I caught it the other day for, um, I think it was fourteen fifty-five, and I was like, heck yeah, the keycap set for mint caps, and mint caps are decent keycaps. These are, I think they're just called uh, beige and gray. <laughs> they don't really have a name, but they're a nice beige and off, or the off-white, and it really is more of an off-white with uh, color keys available. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of like the 20, no, not the 2048, the uh, chalk. Oh, I can't remember the keycap set, but it's kind of like it and it's kind of not. I actually have no complaints with them. Usually the legends are just fine. Uh, with this one, it's got more of the, uh, the rounded um, font, but the thickness on these keycaps, are 1.5 millimeters, which is extremely decent, especially 14 bucks for a keycap set. You can't go wrong, and you're dealing with keycaps that are of a decent thickness. I mean, 1.5 is, it's good thickness. So they're die sub, you have all of the keys for a lot of layouts. Obviously there's no split space bars, but it does look like we have a seven U space bar. We have Tsangan, and I think that we could probably do anything from a 60% all the way up to a full size um, without issue. And we have the single 1U uh, modifiers as well as the different size on um, shift and also step caps lock. So for 15 bucks, I really can't complain much. And, um, and another thing I, I forget sometimes, if you ever receive a box or an item from Amazon and actually comes in the actual box, the way that you can avoid that is check this is a gift. Don't do the wrapping or anything like that. Just check that this is a gift. And what they'll do is they'll ensure to put it either in an envelope or in a uh, Amazon box. That way you don't have um, your address labels and everything sticking up the box. and. It's kind of, I mean, especially with keyboards, it's like if you want to, I mean, I keep the boxes to my keyboards and I like them to stay nice, you know, who knows, but that's just how I've always been with technology and I hate when they ship stuff in their own box. I forgot in this situation, uh, most of the times they ship keycaps in separate boxes, but in this case, I forgot to do that. So if you don't want that to happen, that's a good little trick. So I'm having one of those days. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but my mind is in other places and I do apologize. So just to reiterate, we're uh, going to be loading up uh, this TG67 V3 from Kinetic Labs with mint caps and it's called beige and gray, even though it has these colors. And I want to say it's a, it's a clone set, but I can't remember the original name of it. So I'm loading up uh, the mint caps, we've got the uh, Gatoron Milky Yellow Pros, so we don't need to lube them as uh, they already come pre-lubricated. And we're going to load it up on the TG67 V3 and then get a uh, sound test out of here. Now, I do plan to come back to this because I have a keycap set specifically for this, but they're in a different profile. And I've made it a point uh, based on feedback from viewers like yourself that for the first sound test for a keyboard that I do, I mean, if, if I do multiple, that's fine. But the first one stock should be with Cherry keycaps as Cherry is the mo more prolific um, profile for keycaps. So um, I have some ideas for this as far as a mod I'm going to add because this does not have uh, PET or IXPE. I'm going to come back and do a PE foam. Uh, layer as well as a pet layer below the PCB as well as on the PCB and see 
how much difference that makes. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, loading this up. We'll see what it sounds like and go ahead and uh, get my thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and finish loading these up. So here we are with the fully built TG67 V3, a lovely 65%. I gotta say, it it is really nice how it sounds stock. It's more of a muted type of sound. Um, but again, I guess I've gotten so used to so many keyboards coming with PET, IPXE, different mods already that kind of make them louder. Uh, sometimes, Somebody just wants a quiet keyboard, not a silent keyboard, but a quiet keyboard. Now, obviously, the uh, Gatoron Yellows not being long spring, that actually helps to make for that more. It's not muted, it's more of a subdued sound, which I know a lot of people appreciate. I do at times. I mean, I mean I've gotten around to even liking some clickies. So I am very fond of a lot of different profiles and and I'm fond of a lot of different keycap sounds or keyboard sounds for the most part. There are some that eh, a little too much, but for the most part, I can appreciate a good sounding keyboard. So this definitely has a sound that I like. The stabilizers are great. I mean, they're, I mean, obviously I, I added the Lou, but no ticking. They're nice and smooth. I mean, obviously, we've got the Gatoron yellows, which are super smooth. I'm <clears throat> just gonna, just out of curiosity, I recently um, reviewed these uh, Gatoron smoothie switches, and I gotta say, I love them. Uh, they were sent to me by Pulling Keys, and they have replaced Kale Cream in my arsenal of linear switches and kale creams were my favorite and they've out with the old cream in with the smoothie because this these are they're just some great switches and i just just out of curiosity i'll probably do a full sound test with them here at some point but just to try and see the difference because with this switch we have a long pole and it's a full palm switch whereas here we're dealing with a nylon and i'm not sure what the um not sure what the milky yellow stem is made out of. So the milky yellow, the, the stem is palm and the housing is a nylon, the PA66 nylon. So obviously housings have a lot to do as well as um, being a long pole or not. So just out of curiosity. I really like that. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to do sound tests with both, um, which means, cause I've only got one set of uh, smoothies, I'm gonna have to buy some more because they're just phenomenal switches. So, um, all right, before I do the sound test, I will, oh, wait a minute. Um, I'll do one sound test with the Gatoron Milkies with these, and I'll stick with the same switches so change as little as possible. But then I'll come back and do another sound test with Gatoron Smoothies because I think, for one, I like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like how these sound. But I think that doing both the sound tests are going to provide a good baseline to see that how different the keyboard can sound just by changing switches. Um, it's a very, the way that it's constructed, it gives me the impression. There are some keyboards that, I mean, yes, you can add some more foam. Yes, you can do you know some mods, but for the most part, it's going to stay within a certain range of sound. Um, but there's some that really allow for a wide range, you know, whether you take out the foams, add some tape, um, you know, make thicker foam, lighter foam, 
you know, and allows a range from, you know, the clackiest, poppiest keyboard to the deepest, dockiest, and pretty much anything else in between. And I think that this one allows for that because of its simple construction, because of the way that it's built, because of the, the quality of the aluminum. Um, it's, you know, it's heavy. You know, there's obviously a few keyboards that are made like this, but this, in my opinion, is one of them. And loading up those Gatoron smoothies and just testing them out, just that's the impression that I got. Not that the two sound tests will be showing off both ranges. I'll have to do some different um, mods and different switches, different keycaps to kind of bring those out. Um, and maybe that's what I'll do when I come back to this keyboard to mod it. Perhaps I'll go for the clackiest build I can go, like almost crazy clacky that it almost sounds clicky, and then maybe go for a very deep, thocky, marbly, you know, made mahjong type of, uh, of sound profile. Because this is definitely one of those keyboards that also I can say it will, um, It'll be in my rotation for when I do switch testing because it's it's got that that nice baseline. So it may be a little while before I come and really mod it. Although who knows? Who knows? So yeah, I'm, I'll do the first sound test with the Gatoron Loki Yellows, and then right after there'll be the sound test with the uh, the smoothies, which I like. I said they they have replaced the kale cream. And they are now my favorite. I mean, they're fully palm, long stem. They sound great. They've got a light diffuser that removing the light diffuser actually gives it a little bit of a higher tone, more clacky. Um, we'll keep keeping it in as more slightly deeper, more marbly. But um, yeah, I uh, with this keycap set, especially, I'm I'm taking taken back to. Uh, to a long time ago. I don't want to <laughs> age myself, but I don't know. I know some people, they're like retro. It's it's very bland. And it's like, well, I guess, you know, because I was an 80s kid, <laughs> I just, this, uh, it, it takes me back to that place. And don't get me wrong. I like colors. I like, you know, different themes but I will always just love a retro look, especially with that color that just makes pop. Um, I think this keycap set, even though, the, like I said, the other keycap set I've got for when I come back to it, I think will look good as well. Um, but I'm actually liking how well this one looks on here. Um, Cause it's just, it's just really nice. <clears throat> But, so this keyboard is available. It is an in-stock keyboard available from Kinetic Labs. It comes in several different colors, a baby blue, a black, an e-white, a beige e-white, which is what we have here, a mocha, a lavender, a pink, a green, which is kind of like a forest green, and a mint. Now you can, from there, um, add switches and um, they've got a pretty good selection. The Salmon Tactiles, which I've heard are really good. Um, the Hippo Linears I haven't had a chance to try yet. Or the Gecko Silent Linear Switches, which I believe they're pretty good. Um, and the Husky Linear. So, And they're all in the $37 to $43 range. And you can also select keycaps uh, from their PBT sets. I have the Galaxy PBT and they're really nice. But they have Octopus, Galaxy, Candy Shop, and Corn PBT keycap sets that you can add as well as coiled aviator cables for $24.99 that'll match. And they also have some mats that'll match. So, I mean, you can really get the full, you know, uh, setup when it comes to this. Uh, I, um, like I said, I've been dealing with uh, Kinetic Labs for a while. They're just a great team over there. Um, they're very, very affable, very friendly. They're supportive of the community. They've come on budget keeps numerous times. Um, 
I've never received anything from them that I was like, oh, this isn't what I expected, or this is a poor quality. Everything from their switches to their keyboards have been top notch. Kinetic Labs has always been a good company to deal with. And if, I mean, I haven't, like I said, had any issues with them, but the couple of times I've read of issues, customer service has gone above and beyond and taken care of the issues and everybody's always like, oh. So in the community, it's rare to find a company that the majority of the community will say, yeah, oh yeah, they're, they're A-OK, -okay. you can trust them. And Kinetic Labs is one of those. So I just wanted to make mention of that. Anyway, um, this keyboard is in stock at Kinetic Labs. I'll put a link down below. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test, actually two sound tests. First with the Gatoron Milky Yellow, and then I'll come back and load the uh, Gatoron Smoothies, which I'm just I'm loving. Uh, though I see that Kinetic has some new switches, so I'm going to have to uh, reach out to them again and see about giving those a try in the near future. Anyway, until the next transmission, Keep calm and keep on.